Get ready with me while I tell you what really pisses me off about human design. So number one, it's the division and dogmatism for me. So many of the teachings that are coming from human design only work for, uh, quite frankly, I don't see very many people that fit that demographic actually teaching human design. I mean, I totally understand honoring the source material, but it has been 40 years. And I think it's okay to have a little bit of a shift in the delivery, because if it wasn't okay to have a little bit of a shift in the delivery, I don't think Jenna Zoe would be getting 7 million hits on her website every year. The second thing that really pisses me off is human design as a system. Mm. It's very masculine. It removes all of the things that are feminine and receptive from the systems that contribute to human design as a whole. We use the chakras, but we don't teach you how to align with the frequency of each chakra. We use astrology, but we don't teach you how to align with the expression of the houses and the signs. I've personally found little to nothing about the spiritual and mystical aspects of the Kabbalah, just a skeleton of the Sephira located in the body graph. And then there's the I Ching, ancient Chinese wisdom developed by priests. It's poetic and cyclical, literally makes no sense to teach the gates only in the context of the activations of one chart. I personally think telling people to wait or just stop overthinking is extremely disempowering and if you already have an underlying mental health issue, it's kind of dangerous. And I'm telling you all of this now because I actually want to apologize for hiding my own spirituality and perspectives for so long in order to honor just the source material. I love the concept of human design though, and I love that it gives us a framework and it gives us specific things to focus on. I love that it gives us access to ancient wisdom. But going forward, I'll be teaching human design with an emphasis on practical tools for real life application.